like, comment, and make sure you subscribe. Tell a friend to tell a friend to tell a friend. Peace. Yes, guys. Yes, guys. Welcome back. Welcome back to another video. Ah, I'm excited. I'm excited. I'm excited. Well, I did promise you a solar upgrade video, and I must say that it is here. I'm excited. Um, wow, solar, solar, solar. I love solar. Please remember to share, to comment, and to subscribe. You know, by helping um, this channel, you help a lot of other persons who are interested in solar and um, you know home construction and, and do it yourself. Let me say I'm here to reveal a lot of the secrets that they are hiding about solar. You know, whenever you go online and you ask about solar, there seems to be having a lot of um, things hiding and, and so on and so forth. I'm saying that I'm here to reveal some of those um, secrets and to tell you that you can, mm, you can afford solar system. Uh, solar system are things that you gradually um, increase and so you start small and you go large. Nobody watch you know, big millions of dollars. So let's get into it now as I promise my solar upgrade. Let's go! So yes guys we are up on the roof and look the sun is coming out. All along we didn't have any sun but now it's coming out so yeah, I want to show you what's going on. This is the upgraded system, as I tell you. As you know before, I had four, four panels on this row, right? So yes, I had four panels here, but I've removed one of them. Because whenever it's over here, it is giving this one a little shade, right? <clears throat> so, kind of switch it up. I have three panels over there, three panels to this side, and of course, three panel to this side. And the reason why I put um, some panels on this side for one space, um, but what I'm excited about is that it, during the evening time, because we have enough sun during the day. So during the evening time when the sun is going down, you know, you know those are most of the times when you're going to need the most charge because you're, you're um, preparing to go through a night without any charge. So I, I decided to put share the um, panels over here. And I do not have problem with um, the amount of watts coming in. I got, I got a whole lot of watts. So current are just wasting during the day, right? So I could put an ex, uh, extra panel, but... So the one over there, if I put one more panel over to that end, then it will shade that panel. And if I put one more panel to this end, then it will shade this panel. So you understand my um, situation. Yes, yeah, so that's it. But um, yeah, so let me show you what's going on. So it's a tree string. So it's a, it's a series string, right? This, this, and this. The series together so we have negative to positive negative to positive right and we get a string as you can see in that can do it right the wires from this string go through that can do it i don't know let me see if i can zoom it in go over all the way over there and go down right this is another series string negative to positive negative to positive and it um comes down here and go under right so the series string over there it comes here and this one comes here and this series string over here now it comes through here and as mr bridget nobody stress yourself right you you don't have to go big and sometimes the the systems are just fancy when you see some fancy systems sometimes they are just fanciness you don't have no money for wasting at them time you forget fanciness you want energy you want light you want to be um self-sufficient you know you want to, to you want green energy you want to protect the environment right that is what you're about you know you know the the fancy this are fancy that so saying that i'm going to show you exactly what i mean by that you know by by you not want, don't have to go to the fancy um system my system is not all that fancy you know so let me show you what i have and uh, the sun is out <laughs> but it is raining a bit if you look at the panel closely probably uh well probably you can see the drops of rains yeah rain drops so the rain is chickling yeah and 
the sun is up there. It's not it's not a well sunny day, but I tell you, my entire house is on this, this system and my battery is fully charged. So I want you to understand, my entire house, my entire house is running off the solar right now and my battery is fully charged, right? So let me show you. It go into that box and of course that is a lightning arrest, right? Hard was to put that lightning arrest to protect my system. That green wire coming down there is the grounds, right? I ground all of my panels. So here is the grounds. I grounds all of my panel. I tie each of my panel to the grounds. As you can see, each of my panel is well grounded. So these are some conduit pipes I have because as you know, I'm in the process of construction. Uh, so electrician working. I just get some conduit and put it in. You're nothing fancy. You don't have to get nothing. You see? Different sizes. Different sizes. Don't let people trick you and tell you as if solar is just out of your reach. Come on. You can start somewhere. See? Right. So remember I tell you I start with these. These three over here. Right? And if I test them for you now. I will do that in a follow up video. You will see that I'm still generating. Um... A lot of current so yes guys these are what left from the thing so i just i i, I don't get no no fancy nothing right you go to that box over there right the, just a waterproof box in which i drill some holes in to get in the different as you can see so negative two uh, sorry two positive from string one and this is the negative right the string over there that three string it come in on that side right I drill a hole there and connect the lightning arrest right my ground bus bar I just put it up there right and connect back everything to it now this is the grounds for the lightning arrest you have a negative here positive here and then this go up now to the ground. So as you can see, there is a light in it, right? There is a light in it. And anytime you come now, I know light is not in this during the day when the sun, it, it, I get energy, you know, so something wrong, right? So yeah, from here now, when I collect all the series string, negative, positive, positive, negative, it come down through this now, from this box. I'm going to show you where it go and go down to, into the house. So it go all the way around here. Let me show you. This is it. So it come all the way here. All the way here. And I did not put in the ground at the same time. So I just put it alongside it. But I'm going to do another upgrade shortly. So I'll let you know in another video. Yes, yeah, so the grounds come all the way up there. And go over there. Boop, and go gone down now into the garage where the breaker box is right and then it go underneath um, to a staircase yes actually my system is now under a staircase because i'm using lithium battery so i can put it indoors this is the new setup i've already met my charge controller i'm excited so we get rid of all the floodless acid battery and now we are at lithium lithium battery this is a uh, 5.7 kilowatt and this one now is 2.65 kilowatt and of course it is from modern solar they have excellent customer service look it is assembled in jamaica and it has i think three years warranty on them he's a really good dude trust me you can go over and support him on instagram you know just let him know that um subby diy home and construction send you over there my lithium batteries are from him so in total i have a total of uh 8.35 kilowatt um system um i've purchased this one first right the 5.7 kilowatt but i realized that that i needed more um 
battery capacity so i went back and ordered this 2.65 kilowatt hour it's now 8.35 i think kilowatt hour it is doing well as you can see this is a inverter before that i had the 5000 watt power jack inverter um i will be upgrading i will have this darling um locked away in a box you know because you know it's always good to have spares i've bought it on uh, ebay it has been doing well so far right as you know this is a a 100 amp um solar charge controller it is doing excellent likewise as I've said, the wire, it was pipe in the wall. I was preparing for this while doing construction. So it come down all the way in the wall and it go over to the panel box right in the garage area and a bore a wall and carry it back in. So it come in over here, right? So this the, the positive come in here and I put the positive through a breaker switch, one a breaker switch I've had before. You don't have to get nothing fancy. As you can see, this is a regular um what i'm calling it now electrical box or junction box as we call it in jamaica where you know um you would put in the wall this is a plastic one and i just bore the top up here to carry through there i just cut out a slot in the cover to accommodate the uh breaker and it's a 60 amp breaker right and i pluck out one of the hole down there and go come back through so it come in here right that the positive Go through a um, breaker and it comes in to the charge controller, right? So this is a positive coming in and a negative coming in. And from there now, as you can see that little battery sign there. That little battery sign, right? This is a negative coming down, right? And it go through the battery to the battery. And this is a positive. I did not have any black wire, so what I did was to wrap some tape around it to, you know, differentiate, but it's the same gauge. I think it's about four gauge or so. Yeah, four gauge wire, right? Um, these wires are eight gauge. So this one and this one is, is eight gauge, and um, I'm a shout out to Sun Elect. In the halfway tree area, I've um, gotten the wire from them. This is the grounds. It is grounded here. The charge controller is grounded, right? And it ground here and come up into this bus bar, right? The inverter is grounded, come all the way up and come into the bus bar. And of course, uh, this is coming from the ground upstairs. So I ground it on the side of the house, carry it upstairs, ground the panels and so forth. And ground also the lightning arrest and come back and put into this now. And now this ground this charge controller and the inverter the charge controller i've gotten from Gatsell. they have good prices even my panels and my reels i got from them this breaker here i bought at pegasus traders so this is a replaceable fuse right whenever there is an inrush of current coming in on the system it pops instead of damage any of your equipment i get this like at a normal car place that they deal with audios because motor vehicle use AC current, likewise alternated current. So yeah, you can get this at any car place. Right, so I got that from there. Oh, here's where it's coming in, right? And uh, positive coming in and the negative coming in. And it go all the way up there and come back over, right? I do it that way in case I need to, to move it from there, I would have a length because you know the length come all the way behind it and come up and over. So if I, if I need to, I can always move it, right? So um, yeah. So, yeah, on the battery there. The house is fully running off the solar system at present, right? Everything is running, my entire house is running off solar now. And we don't have a good um, sunshine day today. And as, as you can see, my battery is almost full. You know, so we have 93 volts, 93.9 volts, and we have 1.5 amps. Yes guys, so this is my upgraded system. I'm just so excited. You just can't lose half a solar and you help the environment. Look, I am under a staircase. I have all my stuff over there, my ladders and stuff. And this is my little box that I built, my solar box. So in case I need to test something, listen, listen, listen carefully. You cannot be doing solar and you do not have one of this.
<laughs> you have to have one of this. I have at least about three. But by the way, two of them damage because you know I did not really know much about these. And so I damaged two already. So yeah, I went down by Phil's hardware and I got this one. So you see, solar is just not that. Ah, how people make it look like it is hard and it is heck. I do this all by myself. And I must say, I'm not a licensed electrician. I'm just a DIY. So I try to do stuff myself. I also have another upgrade to do. Yeah, yeah. You never know, it's a solar state. You can gradually upgrade, you upgrade, you upgrade. So you see, start out with floodless, um, flood acid battery. I step up, I get a 5.7 kilowatt lithium. That wasn't enough. I step up, I get the next 2.65 kilowatt lithium, right? Remember I told you, I did not start out with this charge controller. I start out with a little baby something, so. Look at that now, right? So. I also have another upgrade for you coming in another video, but let me just point out so you can understand. So this baby here, I mean, I love this. I love, I love this, um, this charge controller. The only problem I have with this, and it's not really a problem because from my understand the voltage of my battery me good, but sometimes it is actually showing you, and probably it's a good thing, you know, it's, it's actually showing you that you have less battery than you really have. Right, so even when it shows you that your battery is not so up there, but it's actually full. You see the little space up the top there? Yeah. The charge controller is showing you that your battery just need a little top up, but this charge controller shows you that you have less than you actually have. So you actually have more than it shows. And it's a good thing because you know sometimes I just turn my watch on the wrong time for me get a 30 minutes head start if you know me at that about. Yes, yeah, so guys, in a follow up video, I'm gonna do an upgrade, right? So, my intention is to get another one of this charge controller, this particular charge controller, because as I said, I love it, it's doing good, but I'm not sure if I'm gonna give you it in the next upgrade. Because you know, all the money thing go, Jamaica, well. But, I will replace this power jack pure sine wave inverter, right? with a massive one this is a 5000 um watt inverter i'm getting a 4000 giant so this you know this coming like a you do it well still in a bit but you come like a poodle you know like a poodle now get a pit bull oh, oh. so a giant pit bull not pit bull <laughs> an inverter i'm just excited because now already get it you know but again in the next video so it's gonna go right here right right here and when we say massive in massive so i probably will have to shift over a few little things no i think it can hold here i think it can hold here but if i'm gonna put the other um charge controller then i would have to probably shift over these are you know yeah but it's gonna go here massive listen i have a lot of plan for the solar system and most of it is for you. I just want you to know that you can do it. So please, I can't tell you enough. Make sure you subscribe and share the video. Right? And press the notification so whenever I upload a video, you can see it. We're talking about Jamaica you now. We're not talking now. May I get done to earth. Real Jamaican authentic half grid solar. You can go half grid. Solar in my entire house and my battery full. And yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Peace out, guys. One love from Jamaica.